Hello there and welcome to Complete Games and the beginning of a new set of videos from myself. This time round we will be completing Ark and all of its DLC alongside some friends and Discord members to form the Complete Crew. From time to time I'll be dropping in with the odd update video to share the progress we're making but in a shorter more condensed video format. We start by spawning in on Island South 1 and of course naked and as a level 1 beach bob we immediately begin the process of punching trees to make some of our primitive items. Next as other members start to spawn in we all tribe up so we get that shared XP bonus and it doesn't take us long to get through some of the basic levels. Having gathered enough berries and making a few trank arrows, myself and Romeo head out to take on this level 30 trike. It shouldn't take too much to knock it out between us and of course we will have a way of gathering berries. And one minute into the video you can see we've already got our first berry picking dinosaur. Next, Vexing Cat heads out on the raft to gather some crystal and metal and while they're doing that I figured I'd go and head out and get Helena Note 7 just to get an extra couple of levels. Of course to take full advantage of this XP bonus I head along the beach killing all of the Lystros and Dodos I can find. I spot a Lystro up ahead in front of Shiny Bee and I was unaware she was trying to tame it. I'm um, sorry, I've... <laughs> I've... I've tried... Well, I may as well to kill it now. Sorry, I didn't... It didn't show me that anything was coming up to tame it. No, it's just like... I've just grabbed that XP thing, so I need to kill something. Not much to report as we approach night two on the island map. A Tyrannodon lands in front of me that's a level 85, so I decided to grab it. It might prove to be of use later on, just to get us started. The trike that we managed to tame earlier has been called Magic Mike, and that is officially the first dino that the tribe managed to tame together. So I just use Magic Mike to keep on gathering some more berries and thatch and wood as we wait for Vexing Cat and the rest of the crew to return on the raft. So it's around mid-afternoon on the second day of the island map that Vex and the rest of the tribe return with that essential crystal and metal we need at least to get us started with a spyglass, metal pick and hatchet. It's then that the tribe decide to start and move our base location off of this beach and they've decided to build on Weathertop. Now in spite of my most viewed video on YouTube being the best locations to build on the island map, the whole tribe decides to go with one that didn't even get an honourable mention. But I will admit that Weathertop is a prime location for an alpha tribe and that's what we are so we're heading over to Weathertop. So as we shift on up to Weathertop, I spot a 150 tech parasaur. I was going to kill it because we needed the metal and components, but my tribe mates assured me that it might be of use later on, or at least in the beginning. So I'm instructed to tame this one. And after taming a parasaur, a few of us are starting to get some basic tames and knock out a few creatures around the top. We need to get some base foundations down, so I head on up towards what Sven's building, and I assumed was some sort of taming pen. It turns out that this was going to be the tribe base location, so we immediately kick Sven off building and stick Diva on it. And Diva also managed to drop a max level pterodon, so I begin mating that with the pterodon that we knocked out on the beach earlier on and we called this one Terry. Later on into the evening of day three on the island map and we're already starting the process of breeding. With the pterodon myself and Diva's core we're able to get a few eggs together and also the base is starting to come together. The following morning and a red sun arises and myself, Vex and Boss Chunk all head out on the raft to gather some more metal and crystal. This time we're heading out a bit further 
and we're ensuring to stay near the coastline. Of course, the island map has Lee Thictus, so it's always better to keep your raft closer to the coastline. We eventually reach the location we're looking for. There's plenty of metal and crystal on the top of this hill, and I come up with an ingenious way of being able to roll the metal down the hill. However, Vex thinks it might be better to tame something to carry everything down the hill, and we spot a 145 trike. Unfortunately, we end up aggroing all of the trikes around it, and I was pretty sure that we was going to be safe up the top of this rock. Ah, it surprised me. <laughs> oh, there's another one. There's another one. There's three. Who told us to grab this trike? Who wanted this? After a couple of failed attempts, me and Vex managed to trank out this 145 trike and it turns out to be a female, so we end up naming it Mrs. Chips after what Shiny was eating at the time. And I'm sure Magic Mike is going to be very happy with Mrs. Chips when we get back to base. And the trike does prove to be very useful in gathering the rest of the resources we need before we head on back. We arrive back with no hiccups under the cover of darkness, with the forges full of metal and crystal. By the time we arrive back at base we can already see the rest of the crew have managed to get quite a lot done. We've got some veggies growing and they've even managed to make a fabricator. They've tamed up some carnos and we've even got various creatures breeding. So quite a lot of been progress being made in our first evening on the complete island mission. One of the next bottlenecks appears to be polymer. We do need to make some cryopods, so in order to get some polymer efficiently, we really need to get some fur gear together. So I go out and kill some megaloceros in order to get some easy fur together. When I got back to the base with what pelt I'd managed to get from the Megaloceros, I was able to make most of the armour that I would need to go into the north biome. A few of the tribe members gathered together in order to cut their hair, so I was able to make a complete set of fur armour. I took the pterodon north of the blue obelisk just to kill some penguins, and I bought a club with me so we was able to get plenty of polymer at least enough to be able to get us started. When I returned to base with the organic polymer that I'd gathered in the north, I found that disaster had struck. Benny had in fact tamed a Pegomastix, and it got worse because when I went inside, I see that Shiny had finally broke. Perhaps it was the Lustrosaurus I killed on the beach earlier on, but in front of my eyes she snapped and begun to shave her head. The tribe was clearly taking a severe step backwards in my absence, and they were beginning to break under the pressure. The good news was I was able to craft some cryopods and make a few sets of ghillie armour, and Vexing Cat said she spotted a good looking Quetzal out towards the volcano. I couldn't witness this madness anymore back at the base, so we decided to try and do something positive for the tribe. Vex then made a shout to tame a tech quetzal she'd spotted out towards the redwoods. Seeing that the hope of my fellow tribe mates had almost been fully depleted, we teamed up on an impossible mission to tame and find the rarest and stealth-like of birds the island map has to offer. As you can see from the colours of this prime specimen, it wouldn't fail to boost the morale of any new tribe mate, but we had to tame it first. It took quite a few attempts and we had to steer it away from the mountains and rivers, but we eventually managed to trank it above the redwoods. Once we was able to knock out the creature, we then had to clear out any of the creatures that might aggro on it. I also decided to build a thatch wall just round the outside of our tame. Sometimes when you are out in the redwoods, things like terror birds can come running at you and it's quite easy to lose a tame. We returned back to our base on Weathertop, victorious in our efforts to tame the elusive Tech Quetzal. Word has spread amongst the tribe and our efforts have gave hope to the broken. Will the complete crew band together and defeat this map and the Overseer to ascend? 
And will I do another video documenting their progress as they continue their struggles? Possibly is the answer. But until next time, I'm James from Complete Games, and I'll see you.